British uh, military personnel right there and pay his respects also to those who are laid to rest right there who are victims of the world wars. But also we have Emmanuel Tours, I told you earlier on, King Charles III is uh, um, expected to visit the Nairobi Street Kitchen to meet with a select Kenyan artist and sample out Kenyan cuisine. Now the King was also at the UN headquarters in Gigiri. We now link up with our reporter Emmanuel To via phone. Emmanuel what is the latest as um, far as the king's very busy itinerary is concerned? Well, I uh, thank you very much, Trix. As you have already mentioned, uh, we have been at the UN uh, headquarters, the UN, UN, UNEP offices here at Gigiri, and we are currently en route to uh, Westlands, where we have that uh, street kitchen uh, event taking place. Uh, His Majesty is currently at uh, Karura, but uh, we'll be moving uh, up to Westlands to attend that event. Okay. It is an event uh, that uh, brings together a modern street food market uh, that brings in the experience of uh, Kenyan uh, cuisine, and of course, bringing together artists, uh, artisans, and all uh, the members uh, of, of, uh, of course, of that uh, uh, performance and creative scene, uh, where the Majesty will be meeting them. Uh, uh, also including the artisans, fashion designers, musicians and artists. Uh, he will be there to, of course, just have a good time with them and hear from them and, uh, of course, uh, get, uh, give them some ideas on how to uh, generate their content and, of course, uh, how the government of uh, the UK is going to help them in achieving some of their intended goals. And, of course, as you had already mentioned, uh, the king had been at the UN uh, offices, at the UN uh, United Nations office in Nairobi, at, the Gigi, at Gigiri, uh, where he had uh, a few engagements uh, with some of the members who had already uh, uh, attended, who already gathered there, uh, where he was uh, meeting, of course, with the United Nations Environment Program officers and the United Nations Human Settlement Program, UN Habitat, uh, where he also... I had a meeting uh, with uh, some of those officials and officers, uh, including the Director General of UN uh, Nairobi Office, Ms. Zainab Hawa Bangura. Uh, we had uh, some meetings just about the, uh, the environment. I remember this meeting is coming a month to the, uh, the COP28, and of course, uh, just uh, a bit around two months uh, after the SES, the Africa Climate Summit here in Nairobi and uh, just explaining and uh, uh, touching base on what the United or the UK is doing to ensure that uh, uh, the country is also aligned in terms of environmental conservation. And so that is what we had uh, from uh, the UN, and uh, it's, it's a packed calendar of activities, uh, of course, with some activities uh, touching on the environment and some that will be touching on uh, the, uh, of course, the, 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 the activities we had in the morning, touching on the, the past, the war graves that are there, the career call. And uh, he also talked so much about uh, the Commonwealth coming together in terms of the environmental conservation. And uh, we had uh, this uh, uh, bite to, uh, of course, a comment from him at the UN offices in Nairobi. Let's listen in. 